Good evening, all. So, uh, just you can see uh, the today's topic, which topic we are going to discuss today. So, today's topic is how to capture the screenshot in a cell area. So, basically, this one is very useful. This topic is very useful because once uh, we are executing our scripts in a Selenium and uh, some tests are getting failed, then that time we required a proof. We required a where our actually our test is getting failed. So then that time that screenshot help us very much. So so first we need to learn about that. Today we are going to learn about that. How to capture these screenshots in Selenium, like failed test cases, or we can say that if we, we want to capture a screenshot for every step, like every uh, step or whatever step we are performing, so we can uh, take the screenshot for that moment also. So just here, so we start discussing about that our today's topic. So we are going to discuss the capture screenshot along with the timestamp method. Means we are going to be, once we have to capture that screenshot, we are going to be save that, uh, uh, captured screenshot with the timestamp, like uh, our machine's uh, time, like year, month, date, time, in the, inside that time, like hours, minutes, seconds. Huh? So we'll start uh, learning how to capture the screenshot here. So I'm opening up one Eclipse here. So Eclipse page here, and I'm going to create one new class here. Inside the, my default package, you can see that I'm going to create a new class here. So I have I have been given a name of that class is a like screenshot uh, demo. And I'm taking the main method here. Just you can see that we are declaring a main method and we are in a one screenshot demo class so just for selenium when once we want to capture a, any screenshot in selenium so just we need to uh, launch any web page so just for that initial so just i'm calling the system class here and inside that system class i am calling the set property method here. Hmm? so inside that system dot set property we define the web driver dot Chrome dot driver is the key, and here also we require uh, the Chrome driver path here. So just here inside the binary folder, you can see I have stored the Chrome driver here. So just I can copy that path, and I am going to paste here particular path here. So just here, you can see that I have set the system dot set property using key and value pair. So now I'm going to call the web driver interface here. Web driver. I'm uh, opening up one, uh, taken one uh, reference variable also here. Driver is the reference variable. So web driver is the interface. Driver is the reference variable. And I want to launch uh, here the Chrome browser. So just I'm calling the Chrome driver class here. So here you can see that. So already web driver is the interface, Chrome driver is the class, which when we already implemented web driver method in, inside that Chrome driver class. So I want to, here I'm using one method, get method to launch the web page. So I, I'm going to launch here a Facebook. So I want to take a screenshot for a Facebook page. So just here you can see, I am launching the, I am providing the URL for that Facebook page. So, whenever we are going to capture any screenshot, so first we call the text screenshot interface here. We call the text screenshot interface. Just you can see that text screenshot is an interface. Hmm? I am creating one reference variable as a TS and whenever we are going to be using two interfaces so we need to type cast that interface with reference variable with our web driver driver uh, variable so just i am calling type casting here take screenshot with web driver interface here so this one is the type casting is done 
Now I want to use the method ps dot get screenshot as a method, and here I'm going to use output type. So just I'm going to be convert whatever the screenshot I'm going uh, getting here convert into the file format. So I'll just I want to store that file in a one of the file file util Java's file util class. So I'm calling calling that Java file util. So and the name of that file is file src. Just I have given the name as a file src and capturing that screenshot and store into the file src. So now I want to move that uh, file src, uh, whatever the screenshot I have been captured to, to store somewhere in my drive. So here I am at project level, you can see that I have created one screenshot folder here. So just I'm taken that path that folder because I have I, I want to capture the screenshot and store inside that folder. So just I'm capturing calling that path here. So I'm using here file utils. First of all, I using the class file utils dot copy file file utils dot copy file here source file already we are declared and in new location new we are going to store the our destination file. So just here we can see already we have capturing calling that path here screenshot folder path and I'm not going to store the screenshot name like abc.jpg xyz.apg. I'm going to use the timestamp method here. Here I'm going to use the one method called timestamp and the extension. So that particular file is the .jpg. I'm going to use .jpg. So just I have been called the jpg. Now You can see that. So now I'm going to create a one method called timestamp because here we have given the name as a timestamp. So just here, public static string time stamp. So just I have been declared the method as a timestamp method. So he's going to add the return type. Yes, we are going to be return. So a return new. I'm calling, I want to store into the simple date and format. So just here I'm using simple date format. So here I will provide the date format like years, then month, then date, then hours iPhone minutes, iPhone second dot. I'm going to use format and the format is also new date format. So just I'm using the new date format here using java.util. So this one is the written. I have been written that method, simple date format. I'm here we, we, have, we get one exception. So just we handle that exception using try catch. So just or throw. So just I have used throw. And I have used the IO exception here. So now you can we can see that our code is ready, and just we execute our script and see if once our Facebook page uh, get loaded, then we'll see that screenshot captured with uh, captured inside the uh, screenshot folder or. Here you can see that Facebook is loaded here. Our cursor is in email field and our script is successfully executed. Stop the script. So inside that screenshot folder here, just I'm going to refresh once again. So we can see that this one is the screenshot. So 2022. Date is the month is the seven. Date today's date is five, and we have taken at evening like four, four, four. So sixteen fifty five forty dot jpg. So just uh, I'm going to open that folder, and here we can see the screenshot how it looks. We'll capture that screenshot. Yes, you can see that Facebook 
we captured the screenshot successfully here. So thank you. So you will get uh, definitely an idea how to capture a screenshot and uh, how to use the timestamp method here. So thank you for watching.